can't choose, don't know if I should leave or I should stay. I can't be ten this way. Don't even know how I feel. Don't even think I should stay. Don't even know if it's real. And I get so tired of trying to you be telling me lies when I told the truth the whole time. Yeah. In my city, I'm like top five. They be hating on the sideline. Ain't no rules to this shit, I promise there ain't no guidelines. And I've been grinding for too long, fuck being humble. I know I make mistakes, sometimes I'm gon' fumble. I'm the princess of the hood, everywhere I go, I'm good. I don't never gotta explain what's understood. They ain't wanna believe me, had to show them that I could. Had to go and get it like I know my mama would. I'm awake. Eli's over there getting in his first session of school. It is almost 10 o'clock. I'll be heading out at 10.30 to go to the hospital to give birth. Um, my bags are packed. They're all over on the table, if you can see them. You guys, I didn't get a chance to do what's in my bag. Like, I didn't get a chance to do my hair. I just, I'm tired, I'm in pain. I didn't anticipate these last few weeks going out as they did. So, yeah, we're excited. We're excited. Full of nervous energy. I'm meeting my doula um, out front because we have to check in together. And then we'll go to the room. I guess I'll try to vlog through it. And then um, 1 o'clock is when the procedure is. So hopefully I'm not too out of it and I can check in with you guys. Um, but yeah. So, as you can see, we are still here at the house. Um, I spoke with the charge nurse from Labor and Delivery, and I was told that um, they could not keep my 11 o'clock time today because they had no beds open. Ah! Um, they ah! said, hopefully, before... Next time, cover your mouth. Um, they said, hopefully, before 1 o'clock, they'll be able to get me in. Um, she said she's going to call either way, and she said, unfortunately, I can't have you eat anything. I still need you to fast. Um... So I'm just over here starving like Marvin, sipping water, and I want to drink some tea. And um, hopefully they can get me in before one, and it's not late in the day. But, you know, if it is, to God be the glory, it just sucks because I feel bad putting everybody's time. This is giving me a headache. Everybody's time on hold, you know. So we shall see. <laughs> I'm going to do Eli's hair, but it gives me time to do his hair so he's not looking all busted and disgusted while I'm gone and when I come back. So that's a good thing. Well, I was able to finish Eli's hair, thank goodness. Maybe that's why the Lord gave me that extra time. I'm getting sleepy. My hair just looks like this, and it's going to look like this. Um, I just got a call from the hospital to say that they are ready for me, so I'm waiting for my mom and my brother to get back. I knew as soon as they left that they were going to take forever coming back. Um, instead of just doing what they had to do and coming back, um, my doula did ask if she wanted if I wanted her to pick me up, but I have Eli, so it wouldn't have worked out because we both have to go in there. So I'm waiting for my mom and my brother now to come so that they can drop me off, and then we'll get this show on the road. By your side, I be by your side, I be down to fight, down to slide every single time, every single time. All you gotta do is call me. I'll be pulling up when you count to three. If they're talking about you, then they talking about me. If they wanna fight you, then they gotta fight me. Yeah. I will never leave you by yourself. You can cry to me when you have nobody else. You can run to me, yeah, you can cry to me. Off your face, you can count on me. Cry yourself to sleep. Let me take it to a better place. Oh. The base, because if not, that's heavy. It's real heavy with the baby in there. Pull the car seat up, ma. There you go. Oh no, I thought it. I don't know what's going on. There's some buttons on the side. What's that black button? What's that button? There's two of them on the side. And then what if you? Put it in this release. I can't believe I'm here. This is so nice.
is so, this is so nice compared to when I gave birth to Eel. This is kind of giving me vertigo. What's up, you guys? I'm in the hospital. Baby just went for an assessment. Oh, I finally feel kind of well enough to talk. Everything went well. My C-section went really well. I got really scared and emotional, you know, just because of surgery. But I'm feeling better now. I think I am about to ask for some pain meds, though, because I'm feeling like some ouchies like I laughed and it felt like a sharp pain shot through me and I'm able to eat some things now like and as long as I digest that I can have more food but things went really well I'm glad I have my doula here with me and I did not have to do this by myself um yeah my mom more than likely is gonna come up here tomorrow um I don't know I'm just excited he's perfect y'all he's just he reminds me so much of Eli and he's such a little cuddler, and he's very calm. Like, ugh. I can't believe I have another baby. But I'm about to try to find something to watch on TV. When he comes back, I'm gonna hold him, like I said, probably get some, then some pain meds, put him in his thing, and then try to get some sleep. Cause I'm exhausted, y'all. I know this video doesn't do it justice, but this looks really cool at nighttime when it's all lit up. I'm just up. With baby boy. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Where's little face is it? But I did just use the bathroom. I know this is terrible quality. Um, I did just use the bathroom. Um, without uh, my first pee. And I did really good. I was able to empty my bladder. Getting up was like rough. But it wasn't terrible. I really anticipated more pain. It just feels like my whole abdomen is really, really sore and tight. Um, and I'm just a bloody mess. But it wasn't as bad as I thought. I don't know if I just, I think I still have a lot of like drugs in my system that are like numbing it. Um, I haven't taken the narcotic, which they've offered oxycodone. I have not taken that yet because I am here by myself. Um, I think I dropped crumbs in his hair. Sorry, boo boo. Um, I don't want to. I don't know how that's gonna make me feel with him. Plus, I don't want him to get all these little druggy drugs in his system. Was you awake? I thought he was awake. So I haven't taken it. Now, if my mom comes up here tomorrow, and I am in a lot of pain, I will be because I don't know if I'm still going to um be getting Toradol in my IV. Um, but I might just like have a Tylenol and see if that takes it off. And tomorrow I'm going to try to get up a couple of times and do some walking just to prep myself for going home because I honestly want to have a quicker recovery than I did with Eli. Um, so prayerfully I'll be able to relax. He smells so good. I'm just so happy to have him here safely and that we both made it out of that OR room safe and sound um my team has been wonderful uh yeah what's up guys so it is the next day as you can see little stinker man is sleeping i just got done feeding him um they are um since he failed one of his one of the one of the glucose tests in the 16 hour run it restarted the 16 hours, and they're saying if he fails two more, then he's going to have to go to the NICU. 
um, because he's not maintaining his sugar levels, which I rebuke that, and I'm praying against that. So I've just been trying to make sure that I feed him every hour because I definitely don't want him going to the NICU. Um, his last sugar was 47. They took this morning, but um, he hadn't really eaten anything. Hey guys, so I just wanted to say this really quick. I don't know if I discussed it in these clips or not, but basically um, because I had gestational diabetes and he was over, uh, they claim a big baby, he was nine pounds. Um, they test their sugar for the first 16 hours of life. Nobody told me this. I found this out after they kept coming and poking him every hour. Um, basically he needed a 45 every time but no one told me that if he ever got underneath that that the 16 hours restarted so basically they were jabbing my baby for 32 hours straight um his foot was literally leaking blood i was so emotional they kept threatening me to send him to NICU when i asked them to stop because he literally was screaming he was no longer even crying he was developing like a nervous condition they um said they were going to call the social worker on me for medical neglect that's why some of you guys that followed me on snapchat or instagram you guys saw firsthand like the emotion roller coaster I went through while I was in the hospital but I just wanted to give that background also nobody told me that I needed to feed him um every two hours now yes I've had a child before again it has been seven years just about since I had Eli and so many things have changed Eli did not go through that they did not test him for glucose and he was bigger way bigger than Ethan um so it was just a lot of stuff happening that nobody explained to me. Nobody told me that I needed to make sure I fed him legit on a schedule. Like he would sleep. So I let him sleep so I could get some rest because I was there by myself. My mom never came. After my doula left, after the first um, day after I had him, a couple hours later, she had went home. Uh, nobody was there but me. And I was in a lot of pain. I was drugged up. It was just a mess, you guys. A mess. It just frustrates me how quick they are to try to, like, give babies formula when you know, like, it takes time for the mom's milk to come in, especially when it's a cesarean instead of um, a vaginal delivery where your body has time to process all of that into flow. It just kind of pisses me off how they're just like, well, we're going to give this. And with the sugar issue... There, um, is it? I forgot what I was talking about. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm like loaded up, so hopefully my milk will come pouring in, so that he can um get everything he needs. Cause we're talking about supplementing with formula as well, and I'm not here for that. So yeah. I'm exhausted. We didn't sleep much last night because of the hole. They come in every hour to poke his little foot until he passes like three of them. And then it's like every two to three hours. But I wasn't even aware that the time restarted. So it's just frustrating. It's all very frustrating. I hope my mom does come up here. It'd be nice. Um, especially if they do that because if he goes to the NICU I know I'm going to be a mess even though I know it's just you know it's going to be a nobody wants to see the baby in the NICU so yeah I'm honestly just so exhausted I'm in pain my baby's in pain I just like just pray pray for us pray my son doesn't have to go to the NICU. I just, I'm tired of crying. Like, I'm all cried out. I'm all, I'm just, I don't know, y'all. Like, I'm trying so hard to keep it all together. And it's just so hard to be here alone. And just, I just don't want my baby to have to go to the NICU. I don't feel like getting into details with everything. Just, if you love us, pray for us. And pray for him that we can be discharged and home with Eli everything is well that's all I ask <sighs> what is she talking about today has been such a long day 
I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to get out of this hospital. I hope they can discharge us tomorrow. He's been having some issues with his sugar levels and I'm just I'm just over over it. So hopefully everything is good tonight throughout the day and we can get out of here tomorrow. I wanna go home. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I'm tired. I just wanna relax and not be poked. My baby wants to relax and not be poked. I'm just over it. Tell you a prayer we work in. I was so emotional last night. But um he finally passed his stuff at um five this morning. So there's no more threat of the NICU. Um and they're actually uh thinking of possibly discharging me today if I can get all of the stuff that I need to get done um, finished today. That would be amazing to be able to go home. So, thank you guys for praying and touching and agreeing. Okay. Um. So, I'm about to sit down and fill out some stuff. Eli just passed it. Eli. <laughs> Ethan just did his hearing screening. You see he's still asleep over there in the bed. I have to fill out some stuff. I've been moving around a lot more today than I was yesterday. I've been going to the bathroom on my own. I've been up, sitting in the chair, breastfeeding on my eight. Food sucks that I've been getting, but I want to kind of take a shower. I don't know if I want to take a shower or just like clean myself. I won't know. I want to take a shower, but I don't know if I'm ready for it yet. But. I want to do that, brush my hair, brush my teeth, wash my face, and actually put my clothes on versus this gown because I'm just kind of over it. Um, and all my stuff I bought was nursing, so nursing gowns and bras, so that'll be kind of cool. He's still sleeping. I dozed off for a little bit, but I'm not sleeping. I am in a little bit of pain but I wanted to get up and walk. The more you walk, the more you progress because I'll be going home. I thought possibly Sunday, but it looks like more like Monday morning, honestly, but we'll see. We'll see because I'm doing really well. My incision scar looks good. It's healing well. I'm up and I'm moving around. I'm using the bathroom. I have passed gas, but I have not went boo-boo. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> Okay, well, this was the congratulatory Hi. celebratory dinner. Um, this stuff was nasty. This was nothing like when I had my son, my first son. This was nasty. We are discharging. Baby's ready. Mama's ready. Oh, I didn't turn the TV off. Yeah, he ate before we came to the thing. Yeah, Eli, you gotta be, um... Um, put... I was gonna say, move the car seat somewhere. Where the top piece? Put the top piece in the car seat so I don't lose it. And you can just move it. You got this little outfit. This is cute. I did. I didn't think it was gonna fit. And I was just coming home outfit. Yeah, you stole. That's my chapstick. He had two of them. So you was in my room play the other day.